I, like many people in the world, enjoy a good story. Even though word of mouth is the oldest form, there are many kinds of ways to tell stories. Movies and television programs have long been popular means to tell stories, but lately video games are being seen more as an accepted medium for storytelling than just ways to entertain ourselves with gameplay. Now, over the years, many filmmakers have adapted stories from video games into film. Some were successful, and others not so much. But there are a lot of video games out there that have some pretty incredible stories that could be told on film, and I'm here to give you my opinion on the matter. So without further ado, I give you Joey's top 10 video game movies that should be made. Number 10 is the widely popular RPG series, Pokemon. Pokemon is a very successful video game series from Nintendo, the same company who brought you Metroid, Zelda, and Super Mario Bros. This game series has been a huge success, thanks to the assistance of the widely televised anime of the same name. In fact, without the anime, I never would have known about Pokemon. Now, this game doesn't really have that great of a story. Every game focuses on a boy who goes on a journey to capture these cute furry creatures and use them to win tournaments and be deemed the ultimate Pokemon championship. It's a very basic plot, and to be quite honest, the only reason this game made the list is because of visuals alone. I'm sure a live-action Pokemon movie with decent budget could give audiences a visual spectacle to behold. Number 9 on my list may sound a little weird, but hear me out on this, okay? Number 9. Pac-Man. Alright, I know what you're thinking. Joey, how on earth could anyone ever make a Pac-Man movie? What could be done with it? Well, I'm here to answer that for you. My vision for a Pac-Man movie would focus on the ghosts instead of Pac-Man himself. In this version, Pac-Man is seen through the eyes of the ghosts as a Jason Voorhees-esque serial killer. It'll be played up for comedy, of course, acting as a spoof of classic horror films. It's a strange idea, sure, but I think it could make for a very entertaining movie. Number 8. Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions As many of you are aware by now, I am a huge comic book fan. Spider-Man has been my favorite superhero since I was a little kid, and as such, I've enjoyed the many movies and video games made of him. So, Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions was a video game released in 2010 that focused on four Spider-Men, each from different universes, who come together to face an interdimensional threat. This concept, while a bit out there in terms of realism, could make for an amazing movie for fans of the character. In fact, this would be a perfect opportunity to bring back Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man to team up with the Spider-Man of the new movie series, played by Andrew Garfield. Add in a futuristic Spider-Man 2099 and a Batman-like Spider-Man Noir and you've got one ensemble blockbuster movie just waiting to happen. Number 7. The video game made to be a movie, Heavy Rain. Now, if you've seen any of my Let's Play videos, you may be aware that my commentating partner Jacob actually has some negative opinions of this game. Personally, I enjoy it very much. Uh, not so much for its gameplay, but more for its overarching story, which is why I think this is perfect for a film adaptation. This story focuses on four heroes, each trying to solve the mystery of a serial killer. With some great action and emotional scenes, along with a pretty cool plot twist near the end, Heavy Rain is perfect for a movie. Number 6, the classic NES debuting series, Castlevania. Now, to be quite honest, I'm not that big a fan of the Castlevania series. I personally find the games to be too hard after the first couple levels. So, why did I put this on the list, you may ask? Well, the answer is simple. This game focuses on a man hunting Dracula, the king of the vampires. And, well... Vampires have really lost their credibility as evil monsters lately. Especially with the Twilight series and how popular that was. <laughs> Vampires used to be really scary movie monsters, but now most people think of them mainly as love interests. A good vampire movie needs to come out to set the public straight on this, and Castlevania just may be the way to go. Number 5. Sega's flagship mascot, the fastest hedgehog around, Sonic. Not many of you may know this, but Sonic the Hedgehog is one of my favorite childhood games. Sure, the series has had its ups and downs, but I still find enjoyment out of all of his games. Well, almost all of them. But the Sonic series has had some pretty great stories in their games. Many might think that Sonic Adventure 2 would make a pretty good movie, and I agree to a point, but if they were going to make a Sonic movie, I think it should be based off of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, with a bit of Sonic 1 and 2 mixed in for background. I think the whole story of Dr. Robotnik, more commonly referred to as Eggman, tricking the Guardian of the Master Emerald Knuckles into fighting our blue hero so he can build his Star Wars knockoff Death Egg could make for a pretty cool story for audiences. Also, the landscape of that game is so gorgeous. 
a movie based on the classic Sonic games could make for one awesome film. And hey, if it does well enough, they could use the story of Sonic Adventure 2 as its sequel. Then everybody wins. Number 4. L.A. Noir. This game, brought to you by the same company behind the Grand Theft Auto series, focuses on rising star Cole Phelps, who goes through the ranks of the LAPD in 1940s Los Angeles. This game has a big conspiracy plot that stretches throughout the majority of the cases you play through the game, which ends in a pretty cool confrontation and quite the sad ending. This could make for a cool period piece, I think, and the multiple cases in this game could even allow this to be a TV miniseries if chosen not to be a film. Number 3. The Batman Arkham series. Now, if you've already seen the videos of our Batman Arkham Origins Let's Play, you'll already know that I love this series. Oh, and if you haven't seen the videos, the link to the playlist will be in the description. Anyways, the Arkham series has some pretty incredible moments in the games, and they've been able to make even the most ridiculous Batman enemies into some pretty serious foes. I mean, who would have thought Calendar Man would be this creepy? Since Ben Affleck was recently cast as the new Batman to appear in 2015's Batman vs. Superman movie, or whatever they'll call it, I think the chances of them adapting parts of the Arkham games into the next Batman series to be pretty high. The Arkham games, with the exception of Origins, follows a seasoned Batman who's already encountered most of his foes, and that's what the studios are saying Ben Affleck's Batman will be. If they, do, if they don't do straight-up adaptations of the games, then I'd at least like to see elements of them. Maybe part of the next Batman movie will take place in a Joker taken over Arkham Asylum to pay tribute to that game. I think the idea is cool, and I'm sure many others do as well. Number two is another one of Nintendo's big franchises, The Legend of Zelda. Basically all of the Zelda games can make for good cinematic experiences. If you want to get specific, I think Ocarina of Time would be the best suited to a movie adaptation. The time travel aspect, the fantasy elements, and the colorful characters and landscapes could make for an amazing movie-going experience that could attract even the most casual of movie-going audiences. The only real problem I could see could be the characterization of Link, the main hero. If you're a fan of the games, then you'll know that throughout most of them, well, in fact, I think all of them, Link is a silent protagonist, meaning he doesn't speak. Obviously, this would have to be changed doing a movie version, but most other things can remain basically the same. I, along with many others, think that a Zelda movie would be a really good idea to make. But there is one other game that definitely needs to be made into a movie, and that game is... Number 1. Super Mario Bros. Okay, yeah, this might be cheating, considering that the game has already gotten a movie version, but come on, did anybody out there actually think it was good? I didn't think so. A truly respectful movie version of the world of Mario could be a really good idea, and frankly, I'm surprised they haven't done it already. Uh, maybe Nintendo's just afraid because of the failure of the first Mario adaptation, but as long as they don't change anything drastically, they'll be fine. I feel like a fully animated Mario movie with the same designs from the games could make for a fun movie that people of all ages could enjoy. In fact, <laughs> I actually wrote a Mario movie script a while ago in an attempt to see if I could write one better than the one that was actually made. If enough of you guys send me requests, I just may make a video discussing my vision, so if you guys want to see that, please let me know. Anyway, this has been my top 10 video game movies that should be made. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.